Eric Moore, Griffin Pavement Striping here for P10 Magazine. Doing a review for you on the Clore Automotive 12 volt heavy duty power supply and battery charger. We've already taken the opportunity to mount it to a two wheel cart since it works better for our application. And I'll go over a few things with you on the charger right now. So it comes in a unbranded cardboard box inside you'll find the power cables positive and negative we went ahead and wrapped it with a sleeve here to keep the cables a little bit cleaner while we're using them here in the shop it also comes with the ac cord which is different than your average 110 cord we made a short jumper with a 12 gauge extension cord so that it doesn't get plugged into the wrong outlet because sometimes those types of plugs can be 220 which we don't want to damage the machine we've also went ahead and labeled it not to use for jumping vehicles and that it's a power supply only just trying to simplify it in our application so that it doesn't get misused once you hook the vehicle up to the charger and it's plugged in you can select charge or whether you want it to be a power supply and select the voltage that you want it to maintain as a power supply you can select voltage or percentage of charge for it to reflect where it's at in the process. You also have the opportunity to select the type of battery, standard or AGM, and the amperage rate at which it's going to charge the battery, 10, 40, or 100. It does have the capability of recovering batteries that are discharged. We've actually been able to recover a couple of batteries rather than replace them. Give me a moment here, we'll get a truck set up and I'll show you how it is in operation. As you can see, we've got it hooked up to one of our application trucks here. It's having the update performed on the laptop computer that's in the cab that's tied into the delivery system for the material that we use. Very important that the voltage does not drop at all while the computer is being updated or it will actually restart and then it ruins the entire process and has to start all over again. So the power supply here has come in very handy by being able to have it connected to the vehicle's batteries. You can actually dial in the voltage that you'd like to have it being delivered at. Right now I have it set at 13.1, but it's as simple as pushing the button to increase the voltage or decrease the voltage. I'm gonna leave it at about 13.2 before we get started with our update on the laptop. It's very nice because the power does not fluctuate when it's in this mode. In conclusion, the Clore Automotive heavy duty battery charger and power supply has been a very excellent addition to the shop here. We have several vehicles that use a Windows based PC to run software that the DOT requires for reporting when we're striping the roads. We frequently have to update that software. The DOT changes some specifications during the year that we have to update and make sure that we're giving them the proper information they're asking for. We found that voltage drops while using the computer is very critical. We also have found that if the voltage drops while we're trying to update the software on the computer that it can cause issues as well. So having this clean power source has really been critical in making sure that that happens quickly and efficiently. Very easy to use, don't have anything to add that we think could be updatable other than potentially a 24 volt or higher for some of the new vehicles that are coming out in the future. If we had to give it a rating of one to 10, I'd say it's easily a nine to a 9.5.